All right, guys. So we're gonna do a quick haul of um what I got from work, the library today. So I got Thirsty Mermaids by Cat Lay. This is a graphic novel that was part of our donations. Oh my gosh, that feels basically new. Mm. Hold on. I don't know if I showed you guys enough. Whoa! Camera almost fell on me. Why is it doing that? There we go. Ish. Is this... And then I got The Butterfly Effect by Rachel Manns McKinney. Uh, is there such a thing as an antisocial butterfly? If there were, Greta Odo would know about it and totally relate. An entomologist, Greta far prefers the company of bugs to humans, and that's okay, because people don't seem to like her all that much anyway, with the exception of her twin brother, Danny, though they recently had a falling out. So when she lands a research gig in the rainforest, she leaves it all behind. When Danny suffers an aneurysm, Greta abandons her research and hurries back to the Midwest to be there for her brother. Coming home means confronting all that she left behind, including her lousy soon-to-be sister-in-law, her estranged mother, and her ex-boyfriend Brandon, who runs the Butterfly Conservatory in town. Disser dissertation woes mixed with romantic and family drama create chaos in Greta's perfectly cataloged and car and compartmentalized world. Greta will have to ask herself if she has the courage to open up for the people she loves and for those who want to love her. The Butterfly Effect is an unconventional tale about self-discovery, navigating relationships, and how sometimes it takes stepping outside of our comfort zone to find what we need most. So I didn't even read that before I grabbed it. I was just like, you know what? This is part of our donations and it's speaking to me. So it's mine now. Lastly, I have Love Theoretically by Allie Hazelwood. I have not read any of her stuff, but uh, her books are constantly being checked out, and yeah, you know, I might as well. I already have the Love, whatever the other one was that was super popular, um, but yeah. So these both basically brand new i mean no bad spine and i mean whoever had this broke it for me already like the super super um stiff spines i mean and yeah so i mean paperbacks are paperbacks are only 50 cents a piece at the library and hardback cover books are a dollar so i literally only spent two bucks for those books two whole dollars for three books basically brand new great condition yeah oh and then i checked this out from my library finish your first novel because i'm getting back into writing fan fiction but writing uh finish your first novel a no bull guide to actually completing your first draft so there is like two puns in there noble guide for the word noble and no bullshit guide so i love that um and i checked the year that it came out 2023 so this is gonna go on my trip with me um just because it helps with the more abstract um parts of writing that i don't know about and that my books really my other books that i bought and own don't really have in like a small form but they're great for helping me with um 
grammar and all of that good jazz. So this helps with the overall, okay, what do I need to think about now in my um, planning and plot area and all that other stuff. So I think I'm actually, I'm actually gonna buy this um, when my next paycheck comes in. Uh, but for now, I'm just gonna use, and I'll be on a trip for two weeks, so I'll be gone for two weeks. Um, and so I'll just use this in the meantime and return it when I'm done. So I'm very excited for that book. And yeah. Oh, and my water that I brought from home in my garage earlier. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you all. Hope you have a wonderful time of day or night that you see this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.